this is Stampy, and welcome to which is the uh, the name of the planet I'm on. This is Doki Doki Universe. I believe we're on part number 12 of my Let's Play. And what's going on? Don't forget to greet characters. They will like you better. Check out each character's info card to see which greeting they like best. Use the right analog stick to greet. Yes, that's alright, I greeted you. I greeted you at the start of the video. There we go, look, I just greeted, I think this was Nook Nook, this uh, person's called down here. <laughs> anyway, yeah, we're on the planet, and uh, the reason we came here is to get some colourful ice cream. And apparently this is the only planet in the entire universe which has some colourful ice cream. And uh, yeah, I've not got any yet, uh, but hopefully, uh, possibly, uh, by helping out this uh, totem pole here who wants to be able to walk, uh, yeah, we might be able to get some colourful ice cream. It's worth a try, isn't it? Uh, what does he like? So he likes blowing kisses. Shall I greet him then? I think this is how I blow kisses. There we go. <laughs> Ooh, I love kisses. <laughs> of course you do, Mr. Totem Pole. Of course you do. Hi, I heard you can conjure up things. Technically, I modify the configuration of atomic particles via the process of molecular... <sighs> uh, that's okay. Uh, never mind. Can you conjure up a partner for Nook Nook? She's so lonely. Yes, I can do that. There we go. Oh, Nook Nook's all lonely. Let's go speak to Nook Nook. What's up then, Nook Nook? What's on your mind? Hi, I heard you're going to get me someone to be with. That is the plan. That would be nice. <laughs> okay, so then let's go pick a partner for her. Who would Nook Nook like to be with? Would she like to be with Superhero Lady? Would she like to be with Kung Fu Man with a bug on his shoulder? Would she like to be with, um, let's safely assume, no, she wouldn't. Would she like to be with <laughs> Zimmerframe Heavy Metal Guy? This heavy metal guy? Tourist with camera? Poopy baby? This person? I think this is the most obvious partner. But, <laughs> I was kind of tempted to maybe give her <laughs> this fella down here. <laughs> just just to see how she reacts. Look, there we go, Nook Nook. Woohoo! It's too loud. Nice try, I suppose. <laughs> but it needs to be an adult. You know, a grown-up. That is an adult! Look, he's an old man! Fine, well, if you don't want him, better get rid of him. Woo! <laughs> right, next. Next proposal party. This is like blind date, isn't it? What about the gladiator? Or even Mr. 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 Scottish Kilt Man? Um... I've, I've, uh, let's be sensible then. Then let's go give Mr. Loveheart. And all of their Zimmer frame man's just made his way back. You're beautiful. <gasps> My new companion, you're perfect. You will better believe I am. Ah, she's very hopeful. The future looks good for Nook Nook. I hope you'll be happy here. Hmm, <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> she's still got another mission though. Maybe she, maybe she's not completely happy. Maybe she's changed her mind and wants to go back to old Mr. Heavy Metal fella. <laughs> Cutie three, my companion isn't happy. You better not. I want a house. Mm -hmm. Can you make one cutie three? An expensive one, not some block of ice. Sorry to bother you. Yeah, where is it? Okay, I'll work on that. I need, I need to get an expensive, not just a house. I need to get an expensive house. This picky guy, I only conjured him up a few minutes ago. Right, let's see our, our housing options. We got this house here. It looks really nice. Maybe a, bit, uh, a little bit too built for bunnies. That one looks quite expensive. There's a castle down there. There's a house there. There's a candy house. I think he wants the castle, though. He wants something expensive. So let's let's go give him the the castle, shall we? And uh, hopefully they're gonna be they're gonna be happy with that and reward me with the most colourful ice cream in all the universe. <laughs> Thanks for the house, QT3. My soulmate will love it for sure. It's okay, I guess. <laughs> oh god, there's no pleasing some people. I kind of wish I didn't conjure him up now if he's going to be so stroppy. And she wants some more help? Well, what else is on your mind, love? Oh, she's got a present for me. I have something for you. I hope you're going to like it. Yay, I got a sleigh. Thank you very much. It's not colourful ice cream, but it will do. And look, she's got another mission. Uh, hi, QT3. How is couple's life going? Not so good. Now my partner wants gold jewels. A smooth treasure would be fine. QT3, can you summon some small treasure? If not too much, if it's not too much trouble. Actually, make it really big treasure. 
I'll see what I can do. I need to get some really big treasure right there, Mr. Mr. Fussy. I want a castle. I want treasure. Gimme, 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 gimme. Uh, so there's there's a there's a, a diamond ring. A penguin is something that you could all treasure. A box of teddies. I think he wants up here, though. He wants the big pile of treasure. So like, let's give that to him and hopefully, hopefully he'll eventually be happy. You did it, QT3. This will work for sure. Is he finally happy now? Has he got everything that his brain can conjure up? <laughs> I'm expensive. <laughs> you look pretty cheap to me. I'm priceless. Whatever, Nook Nook. I am bored. Oh, no. Oh, I don't think he's ever going to be happy. I think she needs a new partner. Let me guess. Your partner wants something. Yeah, an expensive vehicle. You don't expect me to walk, do you? No, honey, sweetie, lovely pie. Cut the sweet talk and get me the vehicle. <laughs> Robot? I'm on it. Right, let's go get him an expensive vehicle. Not that he deserves it. I want, don't get, I say. Don't be greedy, right? An expensive vehicle. There's there's quite a lot of options for vehicles here, actually. We could go for that jet or this jet. We could go for the big boat there. There's this jet over here. Um... What do you think would be the most expensive out of these? Uh, maybe, maybe thinking to go for this one. Might be a little bit pricey, or the or the pirate ship. Let's give the pirate ship in the. Yeah, let's see how that goes down. Whoa! <laughs> I don't know where he's going to ride on it. There doesn't seem to be any water. Help! You did conjure up something, but it doesn't look very expensive to me. Want to try again? Oh, you know, I don't really want to try again, but I guess I'm guess I'm gonna have to. Sorry, sorry, my present wasn't expensive enough for you. Uh, what about what about this thing? What about this airship? Backfire! <laughs> oh no! Oh no! I did the Scottish guy. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. Um, <laughs> I keep clicking on the the wrong things. Right, expensive vehicle, expensive vehicle. Let's go for this one. Let's go for for this jet. That might be pretty pricey. I'm pretty sure planes don't come free. Thanks. Hopefully this will be good enough. <laughs> In your dreams. Robot, you should stick around. You're pretty useful. Uh, thanks, I guess. There we go. I got Nook Nook an expensive vehicle. And now she is exhausted. I am not surprised. Is she done? No. Still, does he want more things? How is it going, Nook Nook? I have one more favour to ask you. I promise, only one more. This one, this one's for me. Sure, what is it? Right, I'm going to make a guess now. I'm going to guess she's going to want me to get rid of that bloke. Well, I sort of just want a dog. Oh no, I was wrong. I was wrong. She wanted a dog. She wanted a puppy. I mean, my partner is nice and everything. Say no more. <laughs> One pet dog coming up. Let's go, let's go get a let's go get a puppy for Nook Nook. Um, okay, so what are our options? I think there's only one dog. I could just give a monkey, but then I'd get a big backfire coming up on screen, and I don't want that. So here you go. Here's your rather peculiar but happy looking puppy. You are very welcome. And did you see that the plane going flying off there? <gasps> oh my gosh, I love this dog! <laughs> Thanks, QT3! There we go, everybody's happy. Mr. Fussy Pants over there has got all of his expensive things. And uh, yeah, she's got her dog. Nook Nook, where are you? I'm here, and it's Nook Nook. Whatever, get rid of that annoying dog. Sorry, I have to go, QT3. Thanks again for the dog. No problem, Nook Nook. Oh, and I think Totes was asking for you. Okay. Are you really going? Let me let me let me get that woman out of the way. Okay, she's gone out of the way. Let me pick up this guy and let me just throw him around for a bit. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> I won't forget you helped me out. Was that because I threw him away? Uh, don't forget to visit uh, the therapist. Oh yeah, I do need to to go back to the therapist. I remember. Uh, in my last video as I was flying around, I saw the little mobile phone flashing in the corner. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to wait until I've uh, finished up on this planet. I've only got one more mission. This is the last mission. So hopefully, really hopefully, I am finally going to get my colourful ice cream. That's the plan anyway. Hi, QT3. Hi, Totes. Nook Nook's pretty unhappy. I noticed that. I could use my special totem powers. But I was saving my power for my dream. Your dream? Sure. Yes, I have always dreamt of flying. I've always wanted to walk, not fly. He's, he's already kind of got things. I can help you fly. Great, then I will use my powers to send Nook Nook's partner to another planet. 
Yeah, that's kind of what I wanted to do. Apart from I just flung him around this planet. Where shall I fly you to? Oh, anywhere, but land me near Nook Nook. I want her to see me. Okay. Oh, to make him fly, does he just mean fling him around a bit? That's not really flying. In the words of the great Buzz Lightyear, that's just falling with style. No, sorry, in the words of Woody, uh, that's falling with style. In the word of Buzz Lightyear, it is actually flying. Right, anyway, let's pick him up then, and let's just fling him up over here. He asked for this. Woo! Oh, we didn't go... <laughs> we didn't go very far that way. Let's get him a bit more to the left. Oh, come on, i got to get this right. i got to get this right. Right, if I just go like this. I don't want to fire him too far, though, is the problem. If I go like that, that's not... It's not, it's not really good flying. If I pick him up again and start him off from higher, maybe. There we go. Kind of went too far this way. Where's he gone? <laughs> he had quite a good bounce there, right? Let's go fling him all the way back. You're flying, Totes. You're flying. I saw you. Is it a bird? Is it a plane? Is it a big totem pole? <laughs> oh, dear. I think it was the latter. Anyways, is that close to Nook Nook? Was that close enough? Oh, where is Nook Nook? Is Nook Nook, Nook, Nook gone off in this direction, maybe? Nook Nook! Nook Nook, I got a totem pole for you. Where, where is she? Have I, have I just gone past her? I think I might have just walked past her. Oh no, here she is. She's right here. Right, okay, stay still, Nook Nook. I got I got something for you. <laughs> Luckily, the totem pole just loves this. He, he could just let me do this all day, and uh, by the looks of it, I might be doing that. Right, let's try and pick him up. Fly him again. Oh, Nook Nook, stay still. This is hard enough without you wandering off as well. Right, she's right here. If I just place him, then there we go. That that might count. There we go. I can speak to him again and uh, do another mission. That was awesome. Nook, look, look. Did you see me flying? I did, Toad. You were amazing. Maybe they're going to become partners. Uh, I wasn't, thanks to QT3. Uh, there we go. I've completed all goals on the planet. I can now make my home planet look all snowy. <laughs> and uh, the Toad uh, is very fulfilled. Okay, now it's my turn. Ooh, he's doing his big special magic. Bye-bye. <laughs> Farewell. <laughs> hey, I'm just getting started with things that I want. Robot, what will you give me next? A boot in the rear. My wishes for your happiness. A sweet parting hug. Hmm. <laughs> I'm guessing I'm supposed to pick one of these options. A hug or wishing for happiness, but... I didn't like that fella, so sorry, I'm going to be tough. Look at me, I'm being tough. For once in my life, I'm going to be tough. And drum roll, please. Oh, why didn't I do it? Come on, there we go. Is he going to do it? Oh, I didn't see the boot in the rear. I missed it. It was nice knowing you. But I am not going any. What? No. Bye. <laughs> and here comes Alien Jeff. Did I learn about love? Well, I got to hand it to you, QT3. You did pretty good here. Thank you. Did you learn anything about humanity? Um, I'm pretty sure that I did, but I can't remember. Well, that's good enough for me. Here's a gift for you. Please be colorful ice cream. Please be colorful ice cream. See you at the next planet. What did I get? Ooh, look at my new avatar. It's kind of terrifying, actually. I like the body, but not the head. I can ride around on a rat and I got a new decoration. No colorful ice cream, though. I came all this way here for colourful ice cream. It's said to go to the, the frozen planet. Has anyone got any any presents they could still give to me? Let's let's do this. Well, Totes is only going to give me a present if I'm really mean to him. And I don't want to be mean to him. Maybe I'm going to come back and do it later. Let me see if um, anyone else... So, the penguin's only going to give me a present if I'm mean to um, him as well. And the snowman's only going to give me a present if I'm mean to them. That means I've probably got to get the colourful ice cream by being mean to someone. Unless I got it already and didn't realise. It's a possibility. Uh, I think I might just uh, not worry about it for now. And uh, I'm going to go and uh, head back to the uh, the home planet and see old therapist. Uh, I might stop off at a, uh, an asteroid on my way there and do a, um, a personality quiz. Because I've not uh, done one of them yet this video. Uh, but yeah, I'm supposed to I'm supposed to get colourful ice cream. It was for someone on a on a different planet. I can't remember what planet it was anymore. But yeah, I definitely need I definitely needed colourful ice cream. I'm sure of it. I remember wanting colourful ice cream. Maybe that was just in real life and not in this game. Who knows? <laughs> anyway, let's go do a, another quiz. Greetings and welcome. I am the great monk Flutterberry. Let's test your personality. Which one would you choose? The motorbike. The horsey horse or the spaceship. I'll go for the uh, the spaceship. Which one of the characters in this story is more likely you? Uh, am I the boxer, 
am I the guy doing the um, controlling the robot boxer or am I this guy saying like no stop fighting you can all be friends I think that's me seen as I've never been in a fight in my entire life and I certainly have no intentions to and uh, yeah I hate any fighting I think that's uh, definitely going to be me all right which group would you rather be in uh, would you what's going on here uh, a bunch of frogs eating flies or a bunch of whatever they what are these what? I, don't, <laughs> I don't even... Oh, is that... I think that... Are they parents and a baby thing? Um, I don't really want to be a frog, so I'm going to be whatever these are. You are most unusual. This is what you are like. Uh, I am imaginative. You are naturally intuitive and seek innovations and newness. How did it gather that from that? I am bored with reality. You feel impatient and antsy with reality. You seek surprise and intensity. Let's let's view some more detail, shall we? Um, let, let's hear it explained. You chose the weird, interesting and creative option. You were drawn to unusual, artistic and creative things. You enjoy being different. That certainly sounds right. You avoid conflict. Con conflict? <laughs> you avoid conflict. And you help others avoid fighting wherever you can. That's true. Uh, you believe fighting is a waste of energy. And you are a natural peacemaker. Uh, and this is the one I didn't understand. This question is a choice between the known and the unknown. You chose the bizarre blue things. What are those things anyway? Which means you like to jump first and ask questions later. You are imaginative and adventurous risk taker. That is exactly right. I thought I was supposed to know what they were. I had no idea and I just went for it. God, this game knows, make, knows me too well. <laughs> and a lot, I get a decoration. I'm going to have an upside down snowman I'm going to have for that. But anyway, let's let's go home then. Uh, let's go home and uh, see uh, Dr. Therapist and uh, hear his in-depth analysis on my brain. Wouldn't it be funny if I got to the end of the game and like it came up with like a really weird conclusion, you know, like... I don't know, that was just a complete crazy person and <laughs> it just called the authorities and then men in white coats came to pick me up. <laughs> Maybe that's already happened. Maybe that's who Dr. Therapist is. <laughs> anyway, let's uh, speak to him and see what he's going to say. Let's have a look at your personality, shall we? You've answered 85 of 220 questions. Here are your main qualities. You feel impatient and angsty with reality. You seek surprise and intensity. You're friendly, outgoing and sociable. You like off the wall and uh, quirky humor. You are bright, sunny and optimistic. You are playful. You like to be entertaining and you love to laugh. You make decisions quickly. You don't plan. You trust your instincts. I have 60% yang yin and 40% yang. I think that's actually uh, gone back a bit the other way. I think last time I came here I had a little bit more yin and a little bit yes yang. Maybe I'm maybe I'm leveling up. Maybe playing the game is making me more powerful and confident. <laughs> Who knows? Uh, I use 35% of the left side of my brain, 65% of the right. Well, I'm certainly more on the uh, the creative side. My brain does look very small though. That's not a that's not a very flattering size for my brain. What are you trying to say? It looks like a hazelnut. Uh, bored with reality, social, quirky humour. Uh, I got a new type. I'm a, a gracious type. Uh, you're neat and very well organised. <laughs> that is not true. I'm pretty well organised, certainly not neat. Uh, you're also polite and respectful to others. You take credit only when credit is due. Uh, a charming helper. You are always smiling and are helping others people that are naturally drawn to your charm. You are good natured. Uh, and I'm a hidden romantic. Only a little bit though. I'm kind of in the middle of romantic and shy. Your friends don't realise that you have a secret romantic side. You get crushes on people and you don't tell anybody. And I'm a good listener. Uh, you can jam when you need to. But, most, blah, 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 but mostly you move at a thoughtful pace and are a very good listener. Uh, come back after you've answered more questions and I will give you some more detail. Awesome. Thank you. Right, what I'm going to do while I am here is I'm going to give myself a new steed. I like my hot chocolate, but I feel like I, I want to change just for a little bit. So what should I go for? I could have a poo. I could have a rat. I could have a pig. I could have a parrot. I could have a gerbil. Is that a no, beaver? I think it's supposed to be. I, I do kind of miss my cheese, but I do want to I do want to change. All right, everybody vote now. What steed do you want? Because I couldn't hear you, I'm going to guess because you're all weird that you all voted for the poo <laughs> and to be honest I wanted to go for the poo as well I'll have a few videos riding around on a poo in space because I think it's um it's on my bucket list of things to do before I die uh, to ride around the universe on a big poo and then <laughs> later on I'll come back once I got some new steeds and maybe try some of them out and uh, which one uh, changed the background I think it's this one on the left here isn't it so I can change the background and I could have it as the yuck is one 
Although I could have it, as I think it was like Bunny P? Bunny P? Is that what it was called? Oh no! I haven't completed Bunny P yet! That's why I needed the coloured ice cream! I've solved the puzzle! <laughs> right, so I'm gonna have a change though. Let's go, let's go for Brrrr! Just, uh, just to remind me, even though I was just there, and I could plonk down some stuff if I want. I could put down some, some snowy stuff. Seems we've got a snowy background for the moment. Let's put down my nice new snowman. I think I, I think I had another snowman as well, though. If I click on that and do find similar, maybe it's going to show more. So here we go. I got a whole bunch of snowy stuff. This can be my little, my little snowy section. I can have another snowman down there. And oh, what's going on here? Oh, there we go. Got that upside down one there. And then there's this this one here, which is missing his head. I'm going to plonk him down there. Oh, God, I just completely plonked him over the other one. Uh, oh, well, no worries. Um, <laughs> and um, let's put down some candy canes down there. Lovely jubbly. Uh, let's go and put down a kind of Christmassy looking tree. Even though Christmas is long gone by now, uh, we can put down a, a nice little Christmas tree down there. And down here, we can go and put down some snowballs. Put down some lovely little snowballs so we can all have a snow fight. Should I speak to Balloon, actually? I've not spoke to a Balloon in ages. How you doing, buddy? Congratulations on making it past level one. Thank you. Did you find Lanny yet? You mean the little girl who left us? Yeah, well, I'm not sure she's a little girl now. That was a long time ago. No, I haven't found her. Oh. <laughs> oh, well, we've done a bit of decoration. Uh, we've done a bit of progress. Still no colourful ice cream, but we did complete the planet. Brrr. But that's going to be the end of this video here. Hopefully you all enjoyed it. And I'll see you in my next episode. Bye!